Okay, hi everyone. Let me introduce myself. My name is Sophie Nurilaili. My ID number is T2090-6077. In this opportunity, I would like to share about functional theories of translation. Functional theories from Germany in the 1970s until 1980s mark a move away from linguistic typology toward a consideration of culture. Except her functional approach aimed initially at of translation, it borrows from the categorization of the fourth function of language by German psychologist and linguist Karl Barrel. The characteristic of each text type is follows the first informative function, like a presenting object and facts. The text types of it use plain communication of part information, knowledge, opinion, and etc. And the second is expressive function. Expressing sender's attitude with text type, creative composition, the author uses the aesthetic dimension of language like this. And the third, there is operative function. The text type including behavioral response. The aims of the operative function if to appear to or persuade the reader or receiver to act in a certain way, for example, to buy a product or to agree to an argument. And the fourth, there is audio media text, such as a film and visual, spoken advertise, which supplement the other three functions with visual image, music, and etc. And in the chapter 5, there is translatorial action. Translatorial action fills translation as purpose. Driving outcome oriented, uh, oriented human interaction, interlingual translation is described as translatorial. Translatorial from a search text, there is the initiator, the company, or individual who needs the translation, the commissioner who contacts the translator. The translator and the translation who read against the art department, the TT user, uh, for example, a teacher using a translated textbook or uh, using sales brochure. The DC receiver, for example, the student using the textbook in the teacher class or client reading the translated sales brochure. Translatorial action focuses very much on producing a TD that is functionally communicative for the receiver. And the next, there is Scopus theory. Scopus is the Greek word for aim or purpose and was introduced into translation theory in the technical term for the purpose of translation and of the action of translating risk and further um, um, for a general translation theory for all texts. Text. The first part set out a detailed explanation of Vermeer's scopes theory. The second part, specific theories, adopt Reese's functional text type model to the general theory. Discussion of Scopus theory. Like the first, what purpose to be a general theory in Park? in part only valid non-literally text. And the second, Scopus theory considered different phenomena and cannot be lumped together. together. And the third, um, translation theory where word terms already exist. And fourth, 
Scopus theory doesn't pay sufficient attention to the linguistic nature of the essay or not to the reproduction of micro level features in the TT. Oriented text analysis documentary documentary translation serves as a document of a search culture communication between the author and the as recipient. There are three aspects of functionalist approaches that are of particular use of translator training. There are the importance of the translation commission, the role of ST analysis, and the third, the functional hierarchy of translation problem. So that we uh, have to know what the functional of theory, functional theory of translation, so we can know how to we uh, do with translate the text or with the oral speaking and I think enough for my speech for my explanation and that's I say Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh bye